I think it was on fire. Oh, my partner did lose his glasses in the ball pit. But... Hello, welcome to the first of many travel vlogs. We are off to Amsterdam I'm at the airport right now. As you can hear in the background, we are about to board our plane, which is very I'm excited for the holiday starting, terrified of flying, but I'm excited. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, it's just brought me away so you can see where I get up to, but let's go to Europe. arrived in Amsterdam it's been a very long day of traveling but we finally made it we are staying at Chow Papa it's just a really small room it is up three flights of stairs and if you know Amsterdam very very steep but I'll quickly show you the little room this is like your little bathroom situation quite cute and then it's just literally a bed TV and yeah we were told by the um, hotel staff that this building is 500 years old so that is wild. Um, we are going to have a shower, make ourselves feel a little bit more refreshed and then probably just head out and keep it pretty chill but keep ourselves awake until a reasonable time to go to sleep. We are freshly showered, it feels so good, like the hair is nice and brushed, the face, oh, nice to cl change clothes as well. Let me give you a quick outfit of the day, very very casual, it's fun to store right now so I am actually going to put a raincoat over this and you're not going to be able to see anything anyway. We have on this little Monaco Monte Carlo country club shirt that I actually got from Europe last year. Then I've just got some jeans from Cotton On and then I'm going to put raincoat over this and just some boots. I'm not going to bring my camera out today just because of one it is raining. It's the first evening so we're not going to probably do too much and I just don't want to lug it around to be honest. So I will vlog for you on my phone and then I'll chat to you either when I get back and let you know what I've got up to or in the morning and then maybe I'll bring my camera around then. So, but let's go explore and let's go get a SIM card so that I actually have data and can contact people and get directions if I get lost. But let's go and let's stay awake. I think it's about 4pm so we need to stay up to a reasonable time so that we don't get jet lag but I'm very excited. I tried to use a lighter and I don't use lighters pretty much ever and I looked down and my finger was on fire but I couldn't feel it and then I realized I actually burnt the top of this acrylic nail I don't know if you can see like the top's a little bit weird now but I burnt the tip of my acrylic nail so don't play fire in there you can see like the charcoal thing um, we've just been like looking around we got our sim cards then we found a couple of shops um, went to a coffee shop and now we are going to meet up with her friends, which I'm very excited. She's been away since March, so I'm going to meet up with her, have a drink and then grab some dinner. But I thought I'd come and tell you that funny story. Amsterdam. I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring my camera along today. We are heading to a wonder experience. Looks like a very immersive 
kind of Instagrammable place where each room has a different theme. So I'm so excited for that. And then the other plan we have is to go back to the Adam Lookout. We went there last year. Probably go on the swing and then we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. Let me give you a quick outfit of the day. It's very chill today. Still pretty cold here. So I've just got this Mickey jumper from H&M, some leggings and sneakers. So nothing too crazy and I do have makeup on today, but let's go. finished up at the Wonder Experience. Highly recommend. It was my first time doing it and it's my third time to Amsterdam. I really, really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's like a massive playground for adults essentially. My partner did lose his glasses in the ball pit but that's okay. It's all part of the fun and stories I guess. We are now going to head to the Adam Lookout. So we're currently in the Nord district of Amsterdam and we went to the Adam Lookout last year as well. It gives you just a really nice a view of the city so we're gonna head there now so let's go there change of plans the sky deck is actually shut between the 7th and 15th of May which is okay we have done it before so we are heading to the film museum again um, it's called the Ivy Museum just have a quick look and then we'll probably grab some lunch Stopping for some lunch finally. So we are just at Holly Good Fitch. It's like this little pub on the north side near the Adam Lookout and the Ivy Sink. So it should be pretty good. And then I think the plan is that we're going to head to the Deformity Museum. I can't remember its official name, but I'll pop it here for you. Um, we've done the main museums last year, so we're looking forward to doing the next two days. So that is the plan. I've just finished up at the museum. Definitely not for the lighthearted. Very, very interesting, but if you do visit, be prepared to see lots of like skulls and deformities. But very, very interesting. And the man that was there was very friendly. Obviously, no photos or footage in there out of respect for the donations. Very interesting. Big respect for the human body, but we definitely need to head back into the center and uh, maybe chill out a bit more. I think chill vibes after that. But yeah, it was just something to do that was not one of the like, super popular museums. The difference is the same, the color 
Tuesday. It is our second full day. We slept in today, which was lovely. It's going to be a wet day pretty much all day. We are off to grab some pancakes for breakfast and then we'll see where the day takes us. Going makeup free today. Just thought I should give my skin a break and it's going to be wet anyway. But I do have something to show you. I got my bicycle tattoo that I got last year touched up because I felt like it was looking just like I had a bicycle and it didn't have any resemblance to Amsterdam. So I went to a tattoo place, I'll pop the name here, and got them to touch it up for me and I absolutely love it. So let me show you that and then we're going to head out for the day. I'm going to leave my camera at home just because it is wet so I'll film and vlog for you today on my phone. But let me show you the tattoo. So it's hard to tell because it keeps going blurry. I'll pop a photo on the screen as well but you have a cobblestone and then over here is a little pole and it's got the three X's in it and those little poles are only in Amsterdam. I'll pop a photo of like a real life one as well so you can get a better idea because right now the camera is being not my friend but yeah absolutely love it but let's go out. <laughs> was delicious and we went to a coffee shop and now we are heading to Micro PR which is our art museum I'm sorry which is a science museum so it should be cool weather not so great vegan or vegetarian or you just want to try something a bit different in um, Amsterdam you have to go to vegan junk food it was so good there's a few of them around and I highly recommend it's so good I have a meat in my mouth so just excuse that we're now just going to wander kill a bit of time and then tonight we are heading to food Holland for dinner I went in 2018 and I'm so excited to see what kind of vendors they have tonight and we'll meet our friend up and then we'll meet up with our friend again and yeah just have a nice dinner but for now we're gonna walk and look around Wednesday it is leaving day we are heading to Ghent today last night we went to food hall and caught up with my friend Rachel um, she's been traveling around Europe so it's so lovely to see her food hall was really good so highly recommend checking out that food court if you're in Amsterdam but I am coming on to end off the Amsterdam vlog and I'll start a new one for Ghent we're only in Ghent in Belgium for two nights but we're excited to see you what it has, so I'll start a new vlog then. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to go check out my Instagram and TikTok. They're both Brooke McQuaid because you'll get to see a bit more footage of stuff that I got up to whilst I'm in Amsterdam. And I hope you've enjoyed this first travel vlog. It's very exciting. Oh, we had such a lovely time and Amsterdam is such a lovely city. So I highly recommend that you add it to your list of European destinations. But thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.